attention all customers. Shinsenko Muso Seven Orgy. I repeat, Shinsenko Muso Seven Orgy. Thank. So we still doing the video? Yes, we still doing the video. All right. Well, like you said, you. You promised now, right? Yes, I uh, yes, I did promise now. All right, well, just go ahead and get it over with. Don't rush me. <laughs> um, so you know, just tell them what you think and explain why you're doing a video. Do I look five to you? No. Can I at least do it? Okay, fine. Excuse me. All right, well, you gotta forgive him. He, he don't. He's trying to help be helpful but not really being helpful so as promised i said i was going to do dance warriors 9 video and talk about my situation from the beginning all the way to now and um with the you know the announcements the beginnings the gameplay the the randomness and all the way up to playstation hit i'll definitely talk about that later on um, so pretty much get started, <laughs> but before before we start, I just need a moment. Where's the wisdom? Oh wow! At my last job, we at times would we'll, we'll always do words of wisdom, little stuff that would help us out to get through the day, such as be aware of your surroundings, be safe, don't do anything stupid or the R word retarded but in today's society you has to like really really gotta be careful I guess, like words of wisdom I, I can give is keep your hands to yourself make sure you wear your protective mask don't be a Kyle don't be a Karen if anyone knows knows the um the social media means and all that about that reach out to people Reach out to your friends, you, you know, people you haven't, you haven't talked to in a while, and just say, yeah, I'm pretty sure they would appreciate it. I like the, I like some of the people that I know, every time I try to fucking reach out to them, they act like they too damn good to respond back, or they can't even be fucking bothered. You know, sometimes it's so fucking annoying when you try to be the nice person, but unfortunately, they don't. They don't meet you halfway. This shit is irky as hell. Like, oh my god. Hey, hey. No. We told you. We told you about this. Tell me what. You not supposed to go on an evil rant like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know evil rants can can be a bad thing. End it. Now. Fine. I'll end it. Um, Pretty much, you know, just... Just be safe. Don't do anything stupid. Just be you. And don't let nobody shut you down. Like this person over here. Just shut up. Oh, sorry. I'm beating myself up. When Dance Wars 9 started, it was around 2017. I want to say maybe around fall or summer. I don't know which one. It got announced and pretty much everyone and their mother got excited about it. I know they mentioned about it's going to be open world and, you know, that's a huge change. I, for one, was a little skept skeptical, but at the same time, I said, you know what, let's give them, let's give it a try because this is something, something big. This is something huge. Later on, as days pass by, they release more info about more of the open world and also the characters and the new characters and also they also talked about the realism which I really liked you know the way how it looks uh, the graphics and the way how it actually is but I know the weapons were a huge issue uh, almost everyone had clone weapons and of course people were upset and I was too because I really I really didn't expect them to from eight to nine to have unique weapons then going back to clones. So I was a bit upset about it but at the same time I was like I'm just I'm just gonna be okay. It's not a, it's not 
not hugely an issue, not a big issue. I'll let let it go a bit. And I know some people were really upset. I know since I heard a rumor on Facebook or or YouTube, somebody left a comment saying, oh, Zenji's going to get her a whip. I'm thinking like, please don't let this be true. I really don't. I really hope is this is a lie. But nowadays you can't, you know, listen to everything you hear. So I said, well, I'm just going to weigh it out and see what happens. Turns out she does get her whip back. At the same time, like I said, I was like, all right, I'm just going to let it go for a bit. Before the game came out, I know they had done game exhibits from the Tokyo Game Show and other places. Um, they were showing a, a little showcase of they were showing a showcase of the game, and it was like it was pretty cool and it was it was a bit funny too. The one from the Tokyo Game Show it was like Tal P versus the Bear. That one was pretty funny because of of how much damage when you try to fight the bear it did so it did to you it just felt like telepathy was the weak one and the bear was so fucking op as hell <laughs> so that was real funny i know there was other exhibits when people have actually played the demo for 10 minutes you can play as one of the you know certain way characters and you fight for 10 minutes and see how it is and it was pretty you know it was pretty interesting to see it and I kind of wish that we the people uh, who never got a chance to you know go to the exhibits or a game show or whatever would I wish they had gave us the opportunity to say you know what here's a demo you guys can try it out after you guys try it out, please let, let us know how you feel about it. To be honest, I would play the hell out of it. Of course, do some videos about it and at the same time probably give my two cents about it. But at the time, I know from, I was a bit too nervous to do it because I didn't know how I, how I really felt. and Well, I felt too nervous because I didn't know how everyone else was going to feel. And just that y'all, and it was just like, is this a good time to talk about it? Because I saw a few other people talking about expressing their opinion and all. I was like, I want to do it too, but at the same time, just my nerves got the best of me. So I kind of regret the fact I never got a chance to do that. But, you know, when one door closes, another one opens. When the game came close, Koi Tecmo did make some last changes, which I already thought it wasn't necessary. For one, when you were to fall, I know they made... Were you supposed to, like, let's say you fall and get hit, um, like, say, let's say you fall from the castle and you take damage. I heard something about they took that off, and I really didn't like that because, I'm like, you guys said it's realism, so what was the point of taking that out? Oh, you didn't want to lose health and all that. Guess what? It's going to happen. So, to me, I felt like they should have just left it there. Uh, finally, so we get to the nitty gritty and the, and the you know the juicy part of the of this video. I live with old people. I bought the Japan version of the game before the English version came out. Long story short, I was like really interested in see what the game was like first, you know, before everyone else. And at the same time, uh, there was an option where you can change like the language. In, in options mode and I done a video for that I'll probably you know I'll put links down to the videos that I already work on and also like the playlist of it will be at the end of the video shout outs to Black Kite and Frank for for telling me about this option a while back and I was like I kind of fell in love with the game at the moment so pretty much I tried it out and had some fun with it and I actually did my first ever live stream. It was it was really f I was a bit nervous, but at the same time it was really fun. I never thought that when I live streamed the first time for this game, I had like around 50 people or more 
like at first it was it, it was a little it was like a little bit and then later on more people joined and i think the match i got was like around 50 or 60 people somewhere around there and i was so shocked i was like i never had that many people watching me at the same time like that and i was like nervous but at the same time i was like just be you do what you have to do and that's it and that's it at at the end um it was really fun somewhere around around the live stream somebody asked me i can't remember who it was somebody asked me what i thought about the game so far and i said it was pretty you know it was pretty fun the frame rate stuff i didn't really have a problem with it as much i know some people was uh was talking about it and noticed it but me i didn't really pay much attention to it and also another person asked me what will i rate this game the past me has said and I can't believe I actually said this because I felt real bad for even giving it this score. At the time, I gave it a nine, and I know a one, I know a few people were a little surprised about that. But let's put it this way: when I first started playing the game, it was a nine. Right about now, yeah, I regret even saying a nine. No, seriously, I do right now. Big mistake. Of course, a few days later, the English version came out. And I know that you know, Koi Tatmo had already did their first patch. It made the game look very bad. I think the action movie part, it was just, it was like one minute it was like okay, and then the next, it, it, it like the, the troops just looked so weird looking, and it was just like the way they was running and the way how it looked was so bad. I, like I said, I'd done another video for that one. Not only that, but I know also Jim Sterling had did his influence review of the game. And of course, you know, that's when the huge negative hype came. You had some people defend the game, which was like, okay, fine. Then you got others who was like, they was bashing the game. Even though probably some or most of his subscribers who watched, who saw the, the review video never played the game so i can understand where people are saying like well you can't really judge it unless you actually play it yourself so that i can definitely understand i seen like um it was like a bad review oh yeah like i said the fans who were well not everyone some of the warriors fans were angry and was like telling him that like oh you're not a real fan and this that, and the other and blah blah and i'm like really he had it's his opinion i mean he has the right to express it, whether you like it or not. And then I know somebody called him out on it a while, like a long afterwards. I won't name him because I don't know how he really feels about me, to be honest. And right about now, I still don't give a rat's ass. But anyway, fortunately, that didn't last long. So that was a good thing. There were other Warriors YouTubers that, um... Because of the bad heat with the game and all that, um, I know certain ones has suffered. Now a lot of, I would say probably a few. One of them is a real good, is a real good friend. If you watch, and I'm sorry, bro, but um, you probably don't want people to, you know, hear about it. But you know, I, I'm doing this for you because I know how you feel, and I know you hate it when they did this shit to you at the time. He, you know, he, you know, was, was enjoying it and all that, which was great, you know, he, you know, he enjoyed it, and he even, um, played the Wu story, you know, even though this, the chapters was, like, very long and all that, like I said, he really enjoyed it, and then he, I know he had told me that, um, probably one or two people, well, a few people had, like, called him out on, you know, such BS and Tom like, oh, he, you know, hyping the game up, and this day, y'all, and blah, 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 he's fake, and I'm thinking, like, that's not true like why would y'all even you know say such things and then you no know, he said that somebody sent him a message on PSN and all that and I'm just like it's ridiculous like if you enjoy the game that's your prerogative why would you try to take away somebody's joy and because of that I think that's one of the reasons why that if if anybody that's a subscriber to him just like I am that's kind of like one of the reasons why I how should I say this I know that's one of the reasons why he doesn't upload as much. And that really sucks. And I I know uh, at the same time, it's just, it could be a little annoying. And I know family life also for him. But I just, I just hope that, he, you know, he'll be okay. And just, you know, don't let them get to you and this, that, and the other, and all this other crap. 
Trust me, it, it, that shit is going to be annoying, especially when you do YouTube. I experienced some stuff like that. I had somebody, when I was doing the Warriors OG 4 Ultimate um, live stream, somebody had left a comment on the video saying, like, I can't believe you doing the live stream and, you know, spoiling all the game and this, that, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, are you fucking for real? First of all, you need to chill out. Second of all, this is not your video. This is mine. Last but not least, nobody nobody did not point a gun to you and say, watch the fucking thing or you would die. Let me, like, in life, you have options. You have choices whether you want to do it or not. So, I didn't force you to watch it. And thing is, since the game is coming, when the game gets real close, you can watch it if you want to. Because I know that's what um people had done before. They would say, no, like... Somebody was doing videos early and it's like, no, I don't want to watch it and this, that, yeah. But when the game comes closer, they get a little interested in watching the videos and stuff. Like I said, that's their choice. And if you want to do that, that's great. If you don't, hey, your option. So I know they did another patch for the game. They they done so many patches with the game. I was at the point where just getting sick and tired of it, of hearing about it and looking it up and all this other crap. So I know they did one was like, with the characters, I did a video a week before they did that patch on how to unlock all the characters. Again, video is part of playlist and all that. So I did a video for that, and then when I was getting some views for it, you know, help people out, but at the same time hoping that it gets some, you know, some att some attention. All of a sudden, Koi Chama decides to do a, a update or a pa update patch. And it's like, oh, well, instead of working hard to, you know, like the old days, now you had to, you can play like this one chapter and you can unlock all these characters. And I was so pissed. I kid, I kid you not. I was so pissed about it because I was like, are you fucking kidding me? You gonna tell me y'all put this out and I did a video a week before? I was so pissed. I was like, oh my gosh. Y'all really making me want to delete that video. And the video is still up. And I was like, screw it. I'm not deleting it. I already put the work out there. So I might as well, you know, just in case of, I don't know, whoever. Somebody said, you never know. And just... I just hate how they just did that because to me it's like I actually worked my ass off to actually play the game, look, you know, play it, you know, you know, read, you know, go through the story mode, this, that, y'all, that, and all that, and work my butt off to unlock the characters. Well, you saw about all of a sudden, oh, now we want to. I, I, I know it, it kind of makes me sound like a little elitist, but I apologize. Oh, now we're just going to cater to the people. It's like, oh, we want a husband. We want waifu. We want, I'm like, oh my, like really? Because that's, I feel like that's another reason why they cater to people doing that. And that's, I think that shit is not always, but sometimes it's just irky. Wow, I kept playing. So after all these patches and stuff, of course, um, I kept playing the game for the story. And the story was, you know, like the story mode was okay. But at the same time, like, you know, it kept being repetitive and you know you keep you know like some of the stages is pretty much the same you have to do this you got to do that mission you got to do these quests like I said it gets re repetitive uh, and then as soon as like, it gets boring and just like screw it I decided to like you know go straight to, you know do the necessary quest and then that's that just find a way go straight to the commander and just go on to the next chapter uh, while I was doing that I know they introduced the DLCs and all that like the first pack the first pair was like the hot highway and the, like the weapons and also um, new characters so the, the highway was just like decorations and all that if you want to like customize your hideaway home and this and that and also like this little um, stable for your horse so like you know like for for horse experience points, which which is kind of nice, but at the same time, you know, you can still get um horse level up real fast by sniping bandits and all that. But you gotta make sure the highest difficulty and for like the weapons, the sword hook, the piercers, and the claws. I was like, I 
also did a video of it. I was just so disappointed in it because I was like, this should have been in the game in the first place. And then for the characters, like it actually brought some life back to me, you know, to actually play the game again and see how the story was. And it, it was okay. Done by Shao Wanshu and Wan Xiao. Overall, like their story was okay. There was another update that they did, it was like photo mode. Now, when it comes to taking pictures or doing like Photoshop stuff and all that, I, I love doing that when I get, you know, when I actually have some free time and I feel hype or I just want to learn something new and try it out myself. So like when you get photo mode, you get, you know, you have these cool features or you pause the game and try to take a good ass picture of the little creative side of you, which, which is fun. For me, it's like, I kind of wish they would do more of photo mode. I think that would be a cool thing to have in, to, you know, not only in this game, but like future war games as well. For like other DLCs, they did intru they introduced other DLCs for certain characters, the costumes, the weapons, and also did like what if scenarios for certain characters. Plus at the end, once you finish their scenario story yeah their dlc scenario story you get their unique costume which is like really really nice and i applaud koi Tatma for doing that because it really shows that they actually took the time with it they took the time with the cost like the unique ones now the ones that's like oh like the the females with the costume like high school and maids and all that that's just laziness and generic because they've been doing that for the longest time and to be honest when you see it once is okay but once you start seeing it four five six seven million times it gets fucking annoying it really does it just shows like okay now y'all just being lazy because y'all don't want to uh, make a new look or do something unique and etc one is like the Chan and wedding dress now i did like that one because she is one of my favorite they also added challenge mode and big animals like big tigers and to be honest i was okay i'm guessing y'all really starting to, to run out of ideas at first it was like oh the game is realistic bullshit oh, realistic realism such bullshit not only me but other people is like you no know, there's no realism, y'all just doing it, just be doing it now. The final DLC, I was working, I was come home early, try to play the game so that I can like get, you know, get the video, the DLC, whatever, cut scene videos out. At some point, I just felt burnt out. I felt burnt out and I really noticed it when I was playing probably Fa James or Lu Su's story. It just got a little boring and then it's just like, just my body just says, through this game, I'm going to sleep. I felt, I know I fell asleep and probably like a, maybe like a 20 minutes later or 30 minutes later, I wake back, I woke back up thinking like, oh snap, I think this game is really, is really, is burning me out. Never, and a, a Warriors game has never burnt me out. Never in my whole entire life have I been playing a Warriors game and never, never did that. Dance Warriors 9 was the first one, I kid you not. And I was so shocked about it. I was like, I can't believe an actual game is turning me out. I just can't believe it. Like I said, I just couldn't. I was just, I think I need a moment. So at some point I did stop playing it after the final DLC and stuff and also finishing up all the story mode. Okay, I'm done. I don't want to play no more at the moment. But of course I know they added more updates. I think it was like actual siege battle where you go to the castle and try to catch, you know, open the gate and then you have like these, you know, these archers and arrows that are flying at you and trying to, you know, prevent you to do all that. And I thought that was a cool addition that they did because it really brings, because it makes you think of actual Dynasty Warriors 9 empires and, and they actually do not empires which i'm still wondering and hope hoping we probably hear something that would be a cool feature to see now the bad ones i didn't like was the armor break if you fighting playful officer like lupe john fei or guan yu and you know like they, at some point they had that that armor be below their health and it's like it, it would take you a thousand years to break it the fact that they added that was a major turn off it was a major turn off from looking at it from other people's videos and also actually trying to you know playing the, going back and playing the game myself i didn't enjoy it because i thought that was it, it's just like 
oh, well, we don't want you to kill the enemy officers really quickly, you know, swift death. We don't want that. We want you to endure the mess a little longer. If you want to endure, increase the AI intelligence. Don't make them train dummies wise. Of course, they added Muso difficulty, mostly let's add more health and defense, which was again a waste. I don't know why they did that. Again, they could have increased the AI intelligence and made the game a little more, a little more difficult, like it, like they did back in the day. It's just fucking frustrating with this game at times. After all that, sooner or later they talked about Dots Wars Not Complete Edition. So it was just the game and all the DLCs and in the store to buy. Oh my god, we are not doing this fireworks shit again. My opinion about it, if they want if they was gonna actually do a complete edition for it, why don't you just have the game and then make sure I have all the DLCs in the game? as well instead of you put you know in a way quote unquote separating it they had like other updates as well i'm not gonna waste my time and talking more about that and then they had a unique collaboration and 20th anniversary and of course the 20th anniversary which i did a video for that like three months ago um the unique collaboration was like the racing horses and which the the horses look really nice. I am not going to lie about it. Then you have the costume, like the racing costumes, which was, ugh, favoritism. Poster boy and, fav and overall favorite girl, Wing on uh, Yingping, had gotten the costumes. And then, of course, you got other favorites as well. And I'm like, here we go. Here comes the favoritism. I couldn't just let one of them leave out one of them. No. Just throw that favoritism in it because it's high school all over again. Popularity poll. And then for like the collab, um, they did collab costumes. I mentioned this earlier. I hate it at times because it really shows them being somewhat lazy. Collab costumes were for Tao Tao, Shao Doom, Jian Wei, and Xu Yan. The ones for Shao Doom and Tao Tao, if you really look at the detail of the costume, even though the costume is black and it maybe may, might be a little bit hard for a few people or some, I don't know. But if you look at the costume really close, you can pay attention to the goddamn detail of it. And notice that if you had played Dynasty Warriors either 7 or 8 and bought their DLC costume, you would notice that it's the same one. Only difference is they had changed, the colors changed. Maybe, maybe a little of the detail here and there is gone. And of course, I think the hair color is changed. That's about it. The creativity is there, but at the same time, it's mostly laziness. So I'm going to take a breather for a minute. And then as, when, we come, when we come back, I'll just do my last and final thoughts. When I grow up, I want to be a YouTuber. When I grow up, I want to be a Twitch star. When I grow up, I want to be a Fortnite player like Ninja and cry every time somebody kills me. <coughs> when I grow up, I want to be Instagram model. I want to be an Instagram model. When everyone looks at my tits and ass, yes, honey. Hi, my name is Jonathan Lewinsky. You may remember me in such videos as Who's This Bitch? How to Cut a Bitch? And the bitch and I part two. Parents, if you are hearing your children saying these things, then we have a problem. It's your fault. And you don't want their future to be in your hands. You don't want their future to be in a wreck hole now, do you? Of course you don't. Because so help us if the next generation is in a huge hole, a huge, huge, huge hole than it is now, like, it's going to be all your fault. And to be honest, you should have uh, kept your legs closed when you was doing the, doing the nasty. So, here's some thoughts. You can talk to your kids, let them know that being the next e-celebrity or celebrity is not always the best thing. You want them to be mature, actual adults in society. 
Teach them how to do other things besides being on social media. Teach them how to learn a new language, a new skill, or something that can help save the world and the next generation. I hope this message has reached out to any parent out there. If not, then you are the problem. Thank you. All right, home stretch. Just get this done and over with. So around June, Koi Tatmo had made a tweet. The Dynasty Warriors 9 was a PlayStation hit. And when I heard about it, I was like, really? Wow. That was unexpected. Before I really express how I really feel, let me just say congrats to Koi Tatmo for Dynasty Warriors 9 being a PlayStation hit. Like, wild about that because I really didn't expect the game to get that kind of level right by now so um yeah let me express how I feel in a way like this I'm absolutely blown away that this game became a PlayStation hit I'm I don't know what to say. This game that got so much backlash that I gave a lot of backlash to became a PlayStation hit. It got the red seal of approval as a PlayStation hit. Nuts. I don't know what to say. But, uh... Like, seriously, I was so shocked about this. I really was. I really didn't expect them to even get PlayStation hit. I knew Dynasty Warriors 4 was a PlayStation hit, and also Dynasty Warriors 8, which was understandable, but 9? As much shit, as much shit the game got, I'm really shocked about this one. I heard, I heard maybe a few stories that, like, oh, they must have got mostly because they did well in Japan and China. I know in the US and probably in Europe they didn't do as they didn't do as well as much. I know the trial version, I know people had tried it out and I really hope they didn't really add um, the 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 contribution to the free trial as well for making it a PlayStation hit. If that's the case then that's a bunch of bullshit. Part of me dark like that would like I said, it's so weird, and it's just like, I wonder if they pay Sony to have the game come out like that. Well, to become a PlayStation hit. Because usually, I know PlayStation hits have, like, certain records. So, again, I don't know if they must have paid them, or it really did well overseas, or what. Again, it's just, like... Holy shit, snacks, Batman, I, and all that shit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm just lost of words, period. Let me just say this one thing. When it comes to Dice Warriors 9, I have seen and heard so much crap. I heard good stuff, I heard bad stuff. I heard people, you know, praising it in a good way, you know, and, but at the same time, still have a level here at mine about, like, you know, it. it you know, this part is great, this part is great, you know, they did this, well, they shouldn't have done that and all that, like I did. And then I see a few people who was praising the game so much, like, I shouldn't even talk like this, kissing their ass or sucking the game stick, excuse my language, to anyone's younger. Let me just say this, if you still play the game until, if you still play the game to this day, and you like it and you don't care what nobody says more power to you however if you want those people who who still like the game and all that and then when somebody decides to give their opinion about it and you decide to bash them for it that's really uncalled for when it comes to people's opinions you know people don't like it but at the same time you have to at least respect it because knowing you I'm pretty sure you want the respect come back to you when you decide to argue about something. I'm just sick and tired how people want to bat, 
pretty much in general, I'm sick and tired how people want to bash each other about like, oh, this game sucks and this, that, y'all, blah, 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 da, da, da. There's no point of bashing. It's not. Let people enjoy what they like. If they like it, good. If they don't, as soon as like, they just like turn out to be like me and don't like it, that's fine too. That's their prerogative, not yours. All you can do is give your opinion about wh what you like about the game, how you can improve it. To be honest, nowadays, no game is worth a 10 out of 10. It's not. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's just let people enjoy what they like. And at some point, if you like get tired of the game, just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm sick. I'm just tired. I don't want to play it no more. Or I'm just sick of it, period. That's fine, too. Only you know when you are tired or you still want to play or you still feel the same way. Only you. Nobody else. Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. I thank you all for listening to me. I do apologize. It took me a thousand years to get this done. I was supposed to get it out in June, but unfortunately, my laziness kicked in. But anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please let me know what you think of the video overall. If there's something you, you really like or you'd like me to do more in the future, I really appreciate all these kinds of videos express myself and how I feel and all that now that I'm done I'm going to dance my way all the way to downstairs and get something to eat I'll catch y'all next time